Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and status pro fans. Hey, you know, you're out there too. Today we got a status pro game, and uh, as promised, I have graduated above just doing the 1978 season. So we got a mix today. We got the 78 season and the 1995 season. And from the 78 season, we're going to have the very bad Seattle Mariners of 1978 taking on the 1995 uh, Chicago White Sox from the strike-shortened 1995 season um, <clears throat> and in which the White Sox, I believe, were 68 and 78, something like that. Um, so they weren't very good, but the Mariners also were horrid. Um, and to balance the scales a little bit, I am going to pitch Jason Bure, Jason Raspberry Bure for the um, Chicago White Sox, who in 1995 was 8 and 15 with a 719 earned run average and a 187 whip. So he was not very good. We will have to have relief ready at the you know beck and call. Um, I'm sure. Uh, I, and pitching for the Mariners, the home team Mariners, will be Rick Honeycutt. Of course, I don't have the stats handy on all the players for 78 because the 1995 players were online and more recent and were in a PDF and so their cards are a little bit more updated and, uh, you know, more uh, user-friendly, I want to say. So, um... With that, we are going to get underway. Um, pitching is Rick Honeycutt, as I said, and he is a uh, pitcher reduction of 16. And uh, Jason Beret, by the way, will be a pitcher reduction of 18. Of course, you know how that works. It, the way it seems to me, the worse the pitcher is, the um, higher his pitcher reduction is because if they made it a lower one, he would be out of the game you know, before the first inning. So uh, with that, we're going to go with uh, Rock Reigns is going to be the first batter to face Honeycutt. And we flip a fast, fast action card, and it is a... Um, uh, what is this? Uh, we're looking at the PB, so that's an 8. And um, Honeycut is a PB 2 to 5, so this is going to fall on Tim Raines' card. And the fast action uh, reading for him is a. Um, let's see, he is a. Now we picked this up kind of an out. I gotta get reacquainted with this. You know, even though it's only been two weeks since I played. Um, and he, that is, he's an SN and all go G3. So he is out all of that. Um, and he is out to the first baseman. So we will just uh, say that it's uh, G3. One down. Lance Johnson is up. That's a PB10. That falls outside of Honeycutt's range. Uh, that is, so it's on Lance Johnson's card. And that is a random 12 reading, which is a uh, single. So he gets a single. And now the next batter is Frankie Thomas. Frank Thomas. And there's his card. You can see he's got a little, uh, like a little all-star thing there in the corner. I, I guess that's what that means, that he was an all-star, which I'm sure he was. Uh, anyway, um, that's a PB-8, so that's outside of Honeycutt's range again. Nothing has been on Honeycutt's card yet. And that's a random 11, which is also a single. So we've got the uh, two hits by the White Sox, which moves Johnson to second. And I am not really up on the game, so I'm not going to do the extra bases or anything like that. Um, but anyway, uh, the next PB is 
a CD, and that is Clutch Defense, the first. And Julio, down by the schoolyard, Cruz, is up. And he gets a PB-12. That is outside of um, his range, I think. Yes, it is. They're, in fact, they're both two to fives. Uh, this is a random 11, so it's on his card, and that's a single for Cruz. Um, let's see here. Squeeze play, bunting for a base hit. Stolen bases. First to second base. Let's see. I'm going to take a, take a shot at this. It's a random 26, and uh, 26 is any runner rated SPA or B steals. So he does. So he goes to second base on a stolen base. And he gets a stolen. We'll mark it down as a steal for him. And now Rupert Jones is up. And uh, also we have to reduce uh, Jason Beret. I don't know if we reduce him on a stolen base, so I'm not going to. Um, you got a PB4, so this falls within Jason Beret's um, card number, and he has a 64, which is a wild pitch, which sends the runner to third. And he had a uh, wild pitch. We're going to mark that down. <coughs> And so we pick another card, and it is a, an um, PB5, which is within his range. I assume we do that all over again. And that's a 72, which is an out. And then we see what it is. Rupert Jones is um, a, an LN. LN is a fly ball nine. So that's a fly out to right field. And let's see if um, A. So 11 to 48 runner is safe, 51 to 88 he's out. And he is, he's out, 86, they gunned him. They gunned him. So that's going to be two down. And now uh, Bruce Bakhti is up. All of those cards were just like five guys. So PB3 is on Jason Beret's card. He's in charge of this. And that's a 45, which is a walk. So he's going to have to, he goes down another notch. And uh, Bakhti walks. That brings up, uh, he's not going to steal. And now uh, PB11 on Leon Roberts. He is the batter now, <coughs> and uh, he's in charge. And it's a 48, which is a hit by pitch. So he goes to, uh, Bakhti goes to second, and... Uh, And Leon Roberts goes to first, hit by pitch, and that brings up Dan Meyer with two down. And that's a PB2, so it's on Jason Beret's card. And also we have to reduce Beret another one. And that is a um, 63. And 63 is a wild, another wild pitch. So runners go to second and third on the wild pitch. I assume we do this all over again. PB8 is not on his card. It's on Dan Myers. And it's an 83, which is going to be an out. So anyway, we're in the top of the second. And that brings up Ron Karkovais. And he gets a uh, PBCD. So we're going to change it. We're going to pick another one. A PB9 that's outside of Honeycutt's range. So, um... Carco Vice is in charge, and that's a 27. 
And on a 27, he strikes out. So Carco Vice strikes out, and that's the first K for um, for Honeycutt. The next card is a PB3, so Honeycutt is in charge, and that's an 85. That's going to be an out. And uh, this is John Cruck. He is a an LN, and LN is a line out to the pitcher with a possible error. And um, <coughs> let go. He lines out to the pitcher. Line out to one. And that brings up Mike Davalo. And there's two down. And that's a PB6, which is just outside of Honeycutt's range. So Devereaux is in charge. And that is an 86, which is going to be an out. And he is an RN. And RN says all go out G1, except let's check it for an error. And there is none. Second, we got Craig Reynolds up. That is a PB8. Um, and that is outside of Beret's range. And it is a random 57, and uh, that is going to be an out, and he is an LN, and LN is F4, so that is a uh, foul out to the second baseman. But let's see if there was an error, and there isn't one, so he fouls out to the second base. Um, that brings up Lee Stanton. Lee Stanton gets a PB7. That's outside of a raise range. So Stanton is in charge. That is a 55, which is an out. And he is an RN, which is um, all go F5. So he flies out to the, um, or he fouls out to the uh, third baseman. And up steps, that's two down, and up steps Bill Stein. Bill Stein, and this is a PB6, uh, so Stein is in charge. It's a random card, 13, which is going to be a base hit, and it is a base hit to left field. Stein with a single, and that, um, well, he was already there, and that will reduce Jason Beret to 14, and that brings up Bob Stinson, the catcher, PB7, so it's on Stinson's card, and that is a 68, which is an out, and he is uh, an SN. And uh, I'll go F4. So he flies, or he pops, he fouls out to the uh, second baseman. A zero game. Zero, zero game. And Ray Durham is up for the White Sox. He gets a PB8, which is outside of Honeycutt's card. And a 77, which is going to be an out. And he is an SN. And SN is all go out um, GX2. Let me see what GX2 is. Two is a ground out catcher um, to first. And, um, and we have to check it for an error. And there is none. So uh, that was Ray Durham. He went um, two to three, and there's one down. Now you got Ozzy Gian up, and that is a PBBD, so we'll pick another one, and that's a PB11. Um, this is outside of Honeycutt's range, so it is on Gian's card, and that is a random 15, which is. A first, uh, a, a single to uh, left field, or no, single to center field. So he gets a single, and that reduces Honeycutt, another one. 
single to center field for um, Guillen. Um, he is not that good, really. So we'll let him stay there. With one down, uh, you got a PB8, which is outside of Honeycutt's range. With reins up, rock reins, and that's a 14. Random 14 is going to be a first uh, single to left field again. So the first two guys single to left field. And uh, let's see if we want to uh, advance him. And the throwing arm of the left fielder is the left fielder for the Mariners is um, Bhakti and his throwing arm is three. So first to third, single to left, B and a thrower three is 11 to 46. He's safe. So I'm going to try that. And it is. He is safe. So all of that just to figure out that um, Ozzie Guillen is safe at third base. <coughs> With only one out. Um, they're not going to bring the infield in because I don't like doing that. PB9, that's going to be, um, this is Lance Johnson. And that's going to be outside of Honeycutt's range. And that is a... Uh, Random 65, which is an out, and Lance Johnson's an LN. LN is F3, so that's going to be a foul out to first base. Possible error, check for the error. There is none, so he fouls out to first base for the second out, I believe. Um, yeah. Foul out two, three. There's two down, and that brings up Frank Thomas. That's a PB4, so Honeycutt's in charge, and um, also I think we had another hit, so another subtraction on um, once he's done his guard. Um, and that is a random 34. Random 34, I'm liking that, is a home run! Frank Thomas hits a bases clearing home run. So, there's a score there, a score there, and a score there. And there were three hits. I got to remember that. Three hits this inning. And, uh, that, and so, for Honeycutt, that's a reduction for the home run and then one, two, three runs. So, he's down to an eight. And Robin Ventura steps up, and he gets a random, there is a, uh, a PB-11, which is outside of Honeycutt's range. It's on his card. It's an 87, which is an out. He is an LP, and LP all go G3 with a possible error, and there is none. So, um, G3 is uh, a ground ball to the first baseman. So that's going to be, we'll just say it's three to one, you know, I don't know. But anyway, Karkovice will be up next. But the White Sox got three big runs there on three hits that inning. Um, so they have five hits and three runs, and we go to the bottom of the third. So we have... Uh, Julio Cruz, as I said, back to the top of the order for the um, Mariners. That is a PB3, which is, means Jason Beret is in charge. And that's a random 73, which is an out. And Julio Cruz is an SN. SN, all go G5 with a possible error. And there is none, so that's 5 to 3. Julio Cruz is out five to three. That's one down. 
the next one is a PB7, which is not within Jason Beret's range. So Rupert Jones is the batter and he's in charge. That's an 11, which is a first base single. Um, so let's see. That's a single and that reduces Jason Beret one. We aren't going to try to steal Rupert Jones. Bakhti is up. Bakhti is a PB10, or the, the card is a PB10, and that's outside of his range, so Bakhti is in charge with a 62, which is an out, and he is an LN. And LN says, all go F2. So, um, that's going to be a foul out to the catcher for two away. And then we have uh, Leon Roberts is up. That is a PB8 outside of Beret's range. So it's on Roberts' card. And he gets a 77, which is an out. And he is an RP, which is an F6 with a possible error. So that's going to be a, um, a, a foul out to the shortstop. And there is no air top of the fourth. And that brings up uh, Ron Karka Weiss. Maybe Beret will get through this game. Who knows? That is a PB10, so Karka Weiss is in charge. And the, the card is an 84, which is an out. And that is, he is a, an RP. RP is a G5, which is a ground out to the third baseman. Uh, with a possible error, and uh, there is no error, so that is uh, five to three for Karkovice, for Karkovice, top of the fourth, or yeah, top of the fourth, John Kruk is up. That is a PB5, so Honeycutt is in charge on this one. That's an 84, so there is an out, and he is an LN. All go F7. So, Kruk flies out to the left fielder. And that brings up Devereaux. And Mike Devereaux gets an 8, which is, means it's on Devereaux's card. And it's a 62, which is an out, and he is an RN. And the RN says uh, G6 with a possible error. That's a ground ball to shortstop. Um, error 3 to 10. A one base error. So Devereaux is on. I'm going to say Devereaux is on by an error. Um, if that's wrong, hey, let me know in the notes. E6. The next guy is Ray Durham. Yeah, after Devereaux got on by an error, and of course that reduces um, Honeycutt, another one. Ray Durham is, uh, let's see, that's a 9, so it's going to be on Durham's card. And that's a 42, which is a strikeout. I hope that was a good shuffle, um, and we got a... Dan Meyer up. We got a PB3, so Jason Bure is in charge. And that is a 57, which is a walk. So, and he did have a lot of walks. He had, he walked, um, he walked 106 batters in 137 and two thirds innings. So, not surprising there. Uh, Dan Meyer on with a walk in the fourth. Not going to try to steal, and that's a PB7, which is outside of a raise range for Craig Reynolds. Craig Reynolds gets a 35, which is going to be <coughs> a double to uh, left to right field, double to right field. And we're just going to have the runner stop at third because it's Dan Meyer. But that reduces uh, Beret two more too. Um, and now we have a runner at third base. And that's a hit. We've got to remember that. 
uh, PB7 for Lee Stanton, which means it's on Stanton's card. And a 52 is um, a walk. So Stanton walks, and now the bases are loaded. And that reduces him down to 10. That brings up Bill Stein, I believe. Yes. Bill Stein gets a 10. That's going to be outside of Beret's range, so it's Stein in charge. 87 is an out, and the out is all go F9, so there is a possibility of the runner scoring from third. So OBRB and the right fielder for the White Sox is uh, Devereaux. And Devereaux is um, a three thrower. So a B and a three is 11 to 36 he'll score. And he does. So the Mariners have their first run and that also will knock Jason Beret down one more and Dan Meyer scores and that is a fly out to left for Stein or to right for Stein and that brings up Stinson Stinson comes up that's a PB12 so it's on Stinson's card and it's a 47 which is again a walk so Beret walks Stinson And the bases are again loaded. He goes down to an 8. The next batter is Julio Cruz. This is a PB5, so it's on Beret's card. And it's a 42, which is a strikeout. So he strikes out uh, Cruz for the second out of the inning. And that brings up Rupert Jones. Rupert. Bert Jones, and that's a six just outside Beret's range. It's on Jones's card, and it's a 38. Unfortunately, what's a 38? A 38 is a strikeout. And we're going to the top of the fifth. Top of the fifth, and that's going to be Ozzy Gian up. He gets a PB11, which is outside of Honeycutt's range. That's a 26 for Mr. Gian, which will be. A double to center field. Nice. So that's another hit, and it's a double for Gian. And he's two for two today. Got a double and a single. Um, PBZ. So that's going to be um, a strange play. It's a 33. Grounder to the pitcher, um, if pitcher is a CD1 or 2, it's a double play. I'm going to say it was a double play, just to be fair, because I am a White Sox fan. So uh, we're going to say that that was a DP by Reigns. Double play, two down, and that brings up Lance Johnson. It's a 5, which is on Honeycutt's card, and it is a 15, which is a, for, a single to left field. Lance Johnson with a single to left field. I might have just screwed myself, but of course that reduces Honeycutt again. And that is a... Uh, Uh, the next guy is Frank Thomas, Frankie Thomas, and that's a PB8, so it's going to be on Frank Thomas' Big Frank's card, but it's an 87, and he is out. And we go to the bottom of the fifth. Bruce Bakhti is up for the Mariners. <clears throat> this is a PB7, so it's on Bakhti's card, and... That's a 66, which is an out. He's an LN. And LN is all out seven, one away. So Bhakti 
fly out to seven. That's one down. Uh, the next guy is Leon Roberts. That's a PB7, so it's on Roberts' card. And that's a 73, which is an out. He's an RP. And all go F3, so that's going to be a foul out to the first baseman. Uh, foul out to three. And that brings up Dan Meyer. I mean, this goes to show you how bad the Mariners are. They're they're batting against a terrible pitcher, and they only have one run on him in fi five innings. PB7, which is outside of a Rays range, it'll be on Myers' card, and it's a 34, which is a is uh, no, it's a, an out, and he is in LN, and LN is ground out to the second baseman, so. He grounds out four to, th four to three. And no runs come in for the Mariners. And we go to the top of the sixth. And you got Robin Ventura, I believe. Yes, you do. Robin Ventura, nine. That's outside of Honeycutt's range. It'll be on his card. It's an 87. It's an out. He's an LP. And that is a ground out to the third baseman. Ventura grounds out to his opposite number. One down. Ron Karkavice up. That is a BD, so we'll pick another one. That is a four, so that's within Honeycutt's range. And, uh, yeah, now let's flip the card here. And... That's a random 32 on Honeycutt's card, which is a strikeout. So Karkavice strikes out. And that brings up Kruk, the Kruckster. And the Kruckster gets a 9, which is going to be on Kruk's card. And that is a 63, which is an out. And he is an LN. And an LN is a ground ball. Uh... Ground ball to the first baseman A with a possible error. Ground out to first unassisted with a possible error. And there is none, so Kruk is just ground out to three. We go to the bottom of the sixth where you have Craig Reynolds up, I believe. Yes. Craig Reynolds gets, you know, I'm thinking he was up last time. I think he was. I yeah, Wait a minute. No, he couldn't have been because there was three out. So, no, he wasn't. Uh, Craig Reynolds, that's a PB8, which is outside of the range. And so it'll be on Reynolds' card. That's a 65, which is an out. And he is an LN. And LN is uh, ground out to the pitcher with a possible error, and there is none. So he goes one to three, one down, and Lee Stanton is up. That's a PB5, which is in Beret's range, and it's a 68, which is an out, and he is an RN. All go G4 with a possible error, ground out to second base, and there is none. So it's four to three for Stanton, and Bill Stein steps up. Bill Stein gets a seven, which is outside of a raise range, and that is going to be a 34. Um, yeah, it's on Stein's card, 34, and that's a strikeout. Vince Romo is coming in, and he is a 9. Or wait a minute, PB, yeah, he's a 9. And he is now pitching to the, to the White Sox. Devereaux is up. 
Top of the seventh, right? Yep. Top of the seventh. So that's going to be Devereaux batting against Vince Romo. And that is a PB5. That will be within Romo's range. He's a two to six. That's a random 73, which is an out. He is an RN. RN is a ground out to the third baseman. Possible error. And error seven to ten. I don't know what that means. Error seven to ten. Okay, he's a set. He is a seven. So um, it's a two base error. So I think I got that right that time. So that was Devereaux on by a two base error by Bill Stein. Um, and that, and now that's the second error that I already mistakenly had. So. That is an E2, or an E, E5. E5, and that's going to reduce Romo, and Ray Durham is up. Ray Durham gets a PB7, which is outside of Romo's range, and it's an 81. So that's going to be an out, and he is an SN. SN, I'll go G, G6X, GX6 is ground out to the shortstop to first runner to third all right so there's one down and Durham gets basically what amounts to a fielder's choice and now you got a guy on third with only one out and the Mariners are going to bring the infield in that's a PB8 for Guillen now so it will be on Guillen's card, and that's a 24, which is a second base 7. So it's a double to left field, and a run scores. And Guillen is 3 for 3. This is incredible. And that's another hit <coughs> for Romo, giving up, and a run, so he reduces them too and Gans at second with only one out yeah only one out and that's a six which is in Romo's range so it's on Romo's card and it's a 64 which is probably an out it is on Tim Raines um, yeah and uh, he is an SN so an SN is a fly out to seven that's two away Two down and Lance Johnson is up and that is a PB9 which is outside of Romo's range and that is a 21 so um, this is on Lance Johnson's card that's going to be good that's going to be a, a single to center field and uh, let's see that is Guillen he would probably score but I'm just going to let him I'm just going to let him stay there. And uh, we got a PB9 with Frank Thomas up and two down. Right? Yes. PB9 is outside of Vince Romo's range. And that's a 16 for Big Frank. And that's going to be a single to left or to right field. And that scores the run. That scores, uh, that scores Guillen. And that's two hits. That's three hits. Three hits this inning. Got to keep track of that, too. And that reduces Romo another two, and he's almost done. The White Sox are beating up on him. 11 for Robin Ventura. It's on Ventura's card, and it's an 86, which is an out, and he is an LP. And uh, LP is all go G4 with a possible error. And there is none. So um, G4 is uh, ground out to the second baseman. The bottom of the seventh inning. And uh, we're going to take Beret out. So Beret, he went... Um, 
six as well. He went six innings. He allowed two hits and only one run. Well, I don't even remember Rod Bolton. I don't know who the hell Rod Burton, Rod, Rod Bolton is, but he's coming in, whoever he is. And he is a um, RR9, so we'll start him at 9. And uh, Bob Stinson, I believe, is the batter here in the 7th. <coughs> That is a six, so that will be outside of Bolton's range. And that's a 51 on Stinson, which is an out, but he's an SN. And SN is all go F2, so he uh, fouls out to the catcher. That's one away. That's a PB12, so that's outside of Bolton's range. That is a random 11 for Julio Cruz. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. For Julio Cruz, and that's a, that's a single. So we're going to reduce Bolton 1. Julio Cruz with his second hit of the game. And he will try to steal. And that's a 58. I don't know about that. Uh, run out, runner out if catcher is a TA or a TB arm rating. If not, he steals. Okay. Um, Cargavais is a B throwing. So he is out. So they didn't need that. They really didn't need that. Um, there's one down. Julio Cruz thrown out. Rupert Jones up. He gets a 9, which is outside of Bolton's range, and that is a 56, which is an out for Rupert Jones, and he's an LN. And LN, I'll go G5 with a possible error. That's a ground out to third base. And no error. So five to three. And uh, that is it. Yeah, Bhakti would be up next. So we go to the top of the eighth, where the White Sox will send up Ron Carco Vice, who threw that guy out throughout Cruz. Uh, that's a PB8. So that is. Outside of Romo's car, or, uh, so it's on uh, Carcovice. It's a 76, it's an out, he's an RP. RP is a ground ball 5A. So let's see. 5A is... Ground out third to first. Um, with a possible error. And uh, there is none, so Karkovice is out. John Crook is up. That's a nine. It's outside of the range for Romo, so it's on Crookie's card. He gets a 44, which is a strikeout. So that's going to be two down, and that brings up uh, Mike Develu, and that's a five. That's within Vince Romo's range. It's on his card, and uh, it's a random 20, 22, which is a first base. It's a single, single to left field. So Develu with a single, and that reduces Romo down to three, and Ray Durham's up. And that is a PB3, so it's on Romo's card. It's a 61, which is an out. He is an SN. SN is 
ground ball five, so it's out, out to third with an, a possible error, but there isn't one. And so he is five to three. And uh, the White Sox get nothing there. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. Five to one, White Sox ahead here. And uh, let's see, Durham is going to be up next inning. Um, no, Guillen will be. So, okay. It brings up Bruce Bakhti for the Mariners in the bottom of the eighth against Rod Bolton, who's still out there. That is a six. It is within his range. And we're going to flip it upside down. We're going to do some shuffling. And that is, uh, and we're, we've got a... Uh, 46, which is going to be an out, and he is an LN. That is um, LN out is G1, ground ball to the pitcher with a possible error, and there is none. So uh, Bhakti is out, one to three. That brings up Leon Roberts. He gets a PB9, which is um, on Roberts' card, and it's a random 45, which is a strikeout. Or wait a minute, random 45 is walk. So that, he's on board, um, and that knocks Bolton down one. There's a walk to Roberts. Dan Meyer is up. That's a PB8. Um... And that is not within Bolton's range, so it's on Meyer's card, and it's a 35, which is an out. And the out is, um, he is an LN. That is a ground ball, second base, X4. So let's see. Man on first. Force out at second to shortstop batter safe at first. So this would only be one out in a fielder's choice if there's no error, and there isn't. So Meyer got a fielder's choice, and there's still a runner at first, but now with one out, with, no, with two outs. Yeah, with two outs. And Craig Reynolds is up, and he gets a five, which is within Bolton's range, so it's on Bolton's card. And it's a 45, which is a walk. So Bolton walks a guy, and that reduces him one. And up steps Lee Stanton, and he gets an 8 with a 71. Or wait a minute, that's an 8, so it's on Stanton's card. And it's an 83, which is an out, and he's an RN. And the RN is... Um, I'll go F8. So that's a fly out to center. <clears throat> uh, so it's going to be an F8. And no runs come in for the Mariners in the 8th. And we are going to the top of the ninth. And they will take Vince Romo out. And they're going to put in Glenn Abbott. And Glenn Abbott is a 9. And uh, is Ozzy Gian up? Yes, he is. That is a PB10, so it's outside of Abbott's range. It's on Gian's card. It's a 75. It's an out. He's an LN. LN is a, a, a foul out to the catcher, one away. And that brings up Tim Raines. Timmy Rock Raines gets a seven. That is an, uh, it's going to be on Raines' card. It's a 28. 28 is a double to center field. So that's all we need right there. 
and that reduces Abbott a one and that's a double that's gonna to have to be another hit that I'm gonna to need to remember PB 10 for Lance Johnson it's gonna be outside of Abbott's range so it's on Johnson's card it's an 87 he's out that's an LN LN is all go G3 with a possible error um, that's a ground out to first base and uh, there is no error so ground out to first base two, two away and that brings up Frank Thomas they're gonna walk Frank Thomas and that'll probably reduce him one but they're gonna walk Frank Thomas for sure and then uh, that brings up Ventura that is a five it's on Abbott's card and it is a 71 which is an out and Ventura is an LP LP is an FD9 okay man on second FD9 fly out to deep right runner to third but that doesn't really matter so um, F9 or FD9 or fly out to nine or whatever you want to call it it's an out is what I'm saying and so we go to the bottom of the ninth the Mariners need four runs right here Rod Bolton is going to come out and they're going to put in Kirk McCaskill Kirk McCaskill coming in to pitch the ninth with Bill Stein up he gets an a PB5 and he is an RR6 so he starts at 6 and that's where he was um, and it's gonna be McCaskill in control and uh, that's a random 74 which is an out and Stein is an RN and all go G4 with a possible air ground out to second um, 8 to 10 so um, if um, the second baseman Cruz is an 8 to 10 which I'm sure he isn't he is not so that's an out so Stanton or wait a minute Stein is it Stein Stein is out uh, four to three or wait a minute well it doesn't matter it's I think it's Durham is who it's supposed to be but he's not a seven either No, he's a he's a three. So um, Stein is out four to three. That brings up Stinson, Bob Stinson. That's a seven. That is going to be on Stinson's card. It's a sixty-five. He's an out. S N. S N is um, going to be G. At, it's a ground out to the shortstop with a possible error. And error four to ten. If um, if again is a four, but he isn't, so um, that's two down. Stinson grounds out to short six to three. And the Mariners are down to their last out with Julio down by the schoolyard. He gets a five. That's going to be on McCaskill's card, and it's a forty-three, which is a walk. He walks Cruz course with two down and they're down by four they aren't going to try to steal second base but that does reduce McCaskill to a five Rupert Jones is up that's a seven so it'll be on McCas it'll be on uh, Rupert Jones's card that's a 62 that's gonna be an out he's an LN I'll go G2A which is ground ball or uh, ground ball to the catcher um, and there is no error so Rupert Jones is out and that is the end of the game two to three <coughs> and the White Sox win the game five to one and that's gonna be it for me sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off from an exhausting game where the 95 White Sox have beaten the 78 Mariners five to one